Hello everyone, my name is Mara, and today's case is about Ava Baldwin, who was five years old when she went missing from San Antonio, Texas in September of 2015. And I have covered this case in the past. I will link the first video down in the description box. But I wanted to go back over this case because there is a very interesting video that has been brought to my attention. And I guess I wouldn't even say that this video is interesting. It's more strange and disturbing. This video was made back in April of 2020 when P. Diddy went live on his Instagram account. In this video, he is talking about all of his kids. But just a quick reminder before I get started, that I always try to do the best research and get the most accurate information I can for every single case that I cover. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's case. Ava Grace Baldwin was born on April 16th of 2009 to her dad, David Hopper, and to her mom, Katherine Baldwin. David met Katherine or Katie at a recovery group called Celebrate Recovery. He said when he met Katie, she told him this great story that he ended up finding out was not true. But they did end up falling for each other and they got married. But sadly, this marriage only lasted for 34 days. David said during the divorce proceedings is when he found out that she was pregnant. She told him that the baby was not his, but when they did a DNA test, it was found out that Ava was biologically his child. They then tried to discuss how they planned to co-parent Ava together. But it's said that not long after Ava was born, Katie moved back to San Antonio and would disappear for days without being in contact with David. With all this inconsistency, a complicated custody battle began between Oklahoma and Texas. But then it eventually was just in Texas. David said he hired multiple lawyers and spent tens of thousands of dollars on legal and travel-related costs. But he was granted partial custody in 2013. Then in 2015, David asks for full custody of Ava. He then gets a phone call from the principal at Ava's school, saying that she has not been to school in 21 days. And they ask if he knows where she is, and because he did not know, this is when, on September 17th of 2015, David reports Ava as missing. The police then go to the address that was listed on Ava's school forms. But when they get to this address, it's just an empty lot. Katie's family has stated that they believe that her and Ava are no longer alive. And now years have gone by. And neither Katie or Ava have been in contact or been seen by family. Katie does have a history of alcohol and prescription drug abuse. She also suffers from mental illness and has not had her medication filled since 2015. Seven months after they disappeared in April of 2016, Katie's 2014 Silver Ford Escape was found abandoned in a park in San Antonio, Texas. But then we go to April of 2020, where P. Diddy goes live on his Instagram. And for those who don't know, P. Diddy, or Sean John Combs, is an American rapper, record producer, and record executive. He's also known by stage names such as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or Diddy. It's Easter of 2020, and P. Diddy introduces his seven children and one grandchild during the dance-a-thon that is supposed to help raise money for healthcare workers. During this video, he asks Justin to step up. He comes up to the camera during this live video on Instagram and says, Hi, I'm Justin, aka Just Flow. I'm a Capricorn, and I'm about that action, and I'm about raising money for the healthcare people. I'm just so blessed and thankful. Thank you for supporting us today. And I'm assuming that these are his adoptive sons, but the next one that steps up is named Quincy. He says, what's up, y'all? I'm Quincy. I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. While he's talking, P. Diddy comes up and whispers in his ear, one of the prettiest people God ever made. Then he says sorry and walks off. Quincy then continues talking and says he's a Gemini, if anybody was wondering. And thank you all so much for just tuning in with us. We felt the energy and we saw the comments. Let's keep it going, you know, we wanted to do this, to just wake everybody up in a way of, you know, a loving way. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. As he's finishing what he's saying, you then see a girl start walking up from behind them. And P. Diddy puts his arm around her and pulls her towards the camera. He tells her to introduce herself, and she says, Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm a Scorpio. 
And I want a quick stop. If you compare this Ava to the age progression of Ava Baldwin, it's pretty crazy how much she resembles her. So if we go back to the video, P. Diddy says, no, no, what's your last name? Ava says, oh, Ava Combs. He says, what's your other last name? She says, Ava Baruni. He says, Ava Baruni Combs. P. Diddy says, yes, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. He then tells Ava to tell everyone on Instagram Live the story about how he adopted her. He says, you still have beautiful parents. It's just that you are my child also. Please, please tell the story. Ava says, so I was on the streets. And then Papa Combs decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. P. Diddy says, hey, hey, Ava, that's a little bit like borderline sociopath. I don't want nobody, nobody to get upset I adopted you. Like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron, everybody else, Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So um, just clarify it because it's crazy out here online playing with the kids. And I got permission from your mother. He then tells her to say all of that because it's crazy out here. And P. Diddy hugs her and says her name is Ava Baruni Combs and kisses her cheek. The video does continue with other children stepping up and talking. Some of them just say their name and their sign and then they move on to the next one. But it's just a super strange and almost scary and sad video because it makes you wonder, is this actually Ava Baldwin? Did her mom possibly sell her? to P. Diddy, especially with all of the news that came out recently. So on March 25th of 2024, federal agents with U.S. Homeland Security have raided two of P. Diddy's houses, one in Los Angeles and the other one in Miami. He is facing multiple civil lawsuits that accuse him of trafficking and abuse. But I don't know, I have a bad feeling that this really could be Ava and that maybe she was sold to him for however much money, or is it just someone that resembles her? Especially when people have an addiction, they will go to any lengths to feed that addiction, even if it is selling their child. But Ava's disappearance does remain unsolved at this point. I really hope with this whole investigation that P. Diddy will be held responsible for the things that he has done. And I want to hear all of your opinions. Do you think that this is actually Ava Grace Baldwin? But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.